Hey guys, welcome back to Is It Worth It? This time we have quite a special one. Quite unique. 24k gold playing cards. Is it a waste of money? Is it a gimmick? Or is it a cool thing to have around? Well, I'm gonna help you decide that. So first of all, it comes in this nice box, golden, shiny finish. And if you scratch it, it does have a metallic feel. Feels very smooth, metallic. You know, it's not just plain paper or any of that. Sounds metallic -y, but I cannot confirm if the box is gold plated or not. But you open it up, and then inside is where all the magic is, you see. If the cards want to come out, come on. There we go. Alright. And here you go. 24k gold plated playing cards. These are each plated with 24k gold foil, so the actual gold content is not high. And these are not pure gold cards, that is for sure. They are advertised as waterproof, I have not tried that, and I will not be interested in trying that anytime soon. I can say they are definitely coated in some sort of metal. I cannot confirm that it is 24k gold, but based on the ratings and reviews, it is, I'm almost certain it is, it's not false advertising, it is gold. So it comes with this cool certificate, sort of cool thing to have, sort of pointless since you know they could have just faked this, but I mean, it's cool. 999.9 gold foil. Let's see. And the back of the, all of the cards have this, has this uh, interesting pattern on it. Whoa, do you see that? That's really tripping up the camera. It's interesting. We're going to set that aside for now. So it does come with every single card. I have sorted them out and counted them. Uh, you can actually get this in a variety of different patterns. And my just, mine just came with the card box. You can actually get these with wooden boxes. But those cost more. I just got one of the most basic options. The Jokers, personally, I think look really, really cool. Uh, this one's upside down, I think. Two of them are the same, but they look really, really cool, I think. The actual drawings and numbers and letters themselves have this smooth finish, while this has sort of a matte finish. I'm just going to go through all the cards, show you what it looks like. This looks absolutely sick. This ace. Yeah. You have your aces. Hold on, this card is upside down. I don't want to mix them up. Okay, so you have your aces, your jokers, twos. Just, the rest of them are just plain old normal playing cards, but they're obviously coated in gold foil. But they look about the same. The face cards look really, really nice, actually. Let's see. Face cards look really, really nice. So, final conclusion. Is it worth it? Sure, they look really cool, but you are paying quite a bit for these. I would definitely go ahead and say these are definitely worth it. While it is just to keep around the house to look at for fun, to collect, uh, or if you actually want to use these, that's up to you. But I'd say it's definitely worth it since these only cost me about seven bucks. If you think about it, the higher end playing cards, paper ones, cost more than that anyways. Like sure, you can get your cheap ones at like the dollar store, one dollar. But I mean, if you're talking about quality playing cards, those cost up around this, if not more anyways. So I'd say this is definitely worth it, just for how cool, the cool aspect of it. Not necessarily how practical it is, but I mean, they can definitely be used. I have not tried shuffling these, I don't know how easy that would be, but that's up to you guys to figure out so um thank you guys for watching i hope this helped you make your decision feel free to contact me with any questions i'll have a buy link description below and thank you guys for watching